So let's just address the elephant in the room, shall we? I am very tanned. And by very tanned, I mean very fake tanned. Um, it's, I, I've just been feeling quite insecure with my skin. I have had some breakouts from my, uh, that time of the month and stress. And I'm just super, super pale because Canada is Canada, you know? So I took it upon myself to douse myself in St. Tropez. I'm also sick. I'm also wearing pajamas. Just little mooseys, because you know, Canadian. Anyways, do you see how greasy it is right there? Should I put some? Oh, good, we're still greasy. Anyway, so today's not my day, which I thought was a perfect time to do a video on fitness motivation and healthy lifestyle motivation, with, which also kind of goes with mental health motivation. Today is one of those days where I woke up and I was like, my life sucks. You know, we all have those moments. Um, I have them a lot, <laughs> um, especially lately, but you know what? Life is shit. But we have to keep chugging through even when we wanna stay in bed and cry. And one of the main questions I get is how do you stay motivated fitness-wise? Because I have in my life kept a pretty steady body, I guess you could say, but lately, if you've been following my channel, you know I'm trying to get more into weights and building muscle, especially a booty, lower body muscle, also some lean tone muscle up in here, you know? I'm gonna take this off. I said I would do a full video on how to stay motivated when it comes to fitness, so that's what I'm gonna do. Step one for being motivated for fitness is know your goals. That is so important because I feel like if you just start being like, I'm going to get fit, that's such a broad statement. If your goals are to become more flexible, to become stronger, to have more cardio in your life, I can't relate. <laughs> Endurance, that's the word I'm looking for, is to increase your endurance or to increase your strength or to build a certain aspect of your body like mine. I really want to focus on my glutes. You should start off by knowing your goals and maybe your goal is to simply just be more active and I think that's awesome to even eat healthier, eat better, eat more plant-based. Just so know your goals. So before you start your fitness journey or if you're in the middle of it, maybe just take a step back and say, what are my goals? What am I trying to achieve? Because then I feel like you don't get as lost and overwhelmed saying, oh, but I'm trying to get fit. Why aren't I getting fit? It's like, well, if you're looking for a more general healthy lifestyle, then that's easier or whatever. But if you're trying to focus on one thing, you're like, you know, what? I really want this type of body or myself to look as best as I can in this type of way. That's how you need to start because then you can start doing research on that and how to attain that. Number two goes right next to knowing your goals is have a plan. So this could be as much as a plan of how you're going to attain these goals or even just a fitness plan. Like when you wake up, I also find when I'm going to the gym, I'm like, oh, I really don't feel like going to the gym today. Leg day is really hard. I'm kind of lazy. What I do is while I'm at work, because I'm sometimes bored at work, I'll take my notepad or any time you have and just write down your workout for the day. So I'll write down, and if maybe you don't know that yet, and that's totally fine. This is where I'll talk a little later about where that comes in, like the research of working out. Honestly, mine just came from YouTube videos and following other fitness people. And then I learned exercises and then I learned what works for me over time. So write down your plan. Say at the gym today, I'm gonna to do 10 minutes on the treadmill. Then I'm going to do this ab circuit, this many reps of squats. And you kind of have it planned out. So when you go to the gym, you're like, you know what? I'm ready to go. This is gonna be a good day. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm achieving today. Okay, the next one is to be realistic. Especially when you're starting, people get so excited about working out. They're like, I'm gonna go every single day. I'm gonna have no breaks. That is so unhealthy for your body and for your mind because it's not sustainable. Be realistic. Maybe start going to the gym two days a week. Say, on Tuesdays, I'm going to do legs. That's just what I'm gonna do. And then on Fridays, I'm gonna do some abs and some arm work and cardio. Sometimes it's not even motivation, it's like discipline. It's disciplining yourself to go even when you don't want to because often you don't especially at first my next tip is to don't eat crazy healthy when people get into the fit lifestyle they start only eating rice chicken and veggies i don't eat chicken or like rice tofu and veggies um i think that's so unrealistic so unhealthy i've never been someone to do that the only time i've ever restricted my diet was when i was becoming a model and modeling and i had to be very skinny do not recommend i'll make a video on that one day too um 
but yeah I've never been the type of person to be like this is a meal plan I don't even meal prep I research the types of food that keep you healthy and strong and I eat those foods when I feel hungry and then I stop eating when I'm full sometimes I don't <laughs> like I just had a giant bowl of pasta for breakfast I had a big bowl of oatmeal and a protein bar you just have to research what is good for the workouts you're doing I like wait so I eat a lot of carbs beforehand and some protein and then protein afterwards honestly and carbs <laughs> basically I don't know how to word this, but don't eat too healthy. Honestly, I have great balance. I love eating unhealthy food sometimes, but then you know what? If I have an unhealthy lunch, I'll go have a healthy dinner. And healthy for people means so many different things. And that's why food is such a hard subject. Work hard in the gym, work hard in your meals, but don't go nuts because you're never gonna sustain it if you're only eating veggies and brown rice. Next one is don't have cheat days. For some people these really work and don't get me wrong i have cheat days let me explain so for example if i uh, went out like drinking or something on saturday oh the lights come in but if i had a fun night on saturday and on sunday i was like wow i just want to eat so unhealthy i want to eat french fries that's fine i'll like designate that day when i wake up i'm like you know what today's gonna be a cheat day and i won't beat myself up over it and that's the key is to not beat yourself up over it but what I'm saying is don't have a cheat day which makes you crazy healthy on every other day because then all you're going to do is look forward to that cheat day and binge an unhealthy amount versus in the week I eat generally pretty healthy and then I also have some cheat meals within those days and cheat snacks you know what I mean I'll have a cookie I don't go crazy I'll have a bag of chips if I'm craving them even on a healthy day so that on my cheat day it's not crazy insane it's not unhealthy like I'd still be down to have veggies and fruit. So don't just, <coughs> if that's something that works for you, okay. But I just recommend having balance overall in your life rather than doing the two extremes. Take days off is my next tip and use that as motivation to get back into it. So on a day I'm feeling really down, maybe sick, maybe lethargic, or maybe I just don't have time that day. It's a really busy day. I will say, you know what? It's fine. Take the day off. Sometimes I take two days off in a row sometimes three but I use it as motivation to get back into it so the next day when I do have time to go to the gym I'm feeling physically okay I'm like you know what you had those days off so now to kind of repay yourself and repay your muscles you got to go to the gym today so taking a day off is good because it gives you like leverage on yourself to go to the gym but also it gives your mind a break and makes you not crazy you know if you and your friends want to do something that day you don't have to bail on them all the time because you have to go to the gym like it's fine to take these off speaking of time make time for the gym it's really important a lot of people say i don't have time and that's such an easy excuse to fall into make time you have to make time for the gym so many of us could just you know toss it to the side and say oh i don't have time i'm busy today if you have to wake up super early to get your workout in i will along with that you just decide that it's going to be a part of your life people say but Oh, I really don't. I hate working out. And I go, yeah, but once you decide that something's part of your life, it's kind of like school or work. We don't want to go to school sometimes. We don't want to go to work sometimes, but we do it because we've decided that that's what's important to us and we're going to go. For me, it's the gym. It's the same thing. You know what? Sometimes it sucks, but I'm going to go because I've decided that it's a part of my life. So now it's like, it's hard to make an excuse when you're like, yeah, I got to go. I got to go. My next step is so important. You have to understand patience and consistency and truly understand it. If you go into this thinking that you're going to get a juicy, round, beautiful butt and flat stomach in four weeks, two months, three months, you're wrong. It takes time. I've been working at this for almost a year it's gonna go on to more than a year and that's not even being active i've been active my whole life but specifically working on the muscle groups i want to work on and results are really slow but it's really fun when you do see results so i guess it makes it worth it but you have to understand that it's going to take time and it takes time for everyone so don't be discouraged and be consistent a lot of people give up if they don't see results within like a couple weeks and that's just not realistic you have to understand that's not how the body works and you're not alone Everyone, it takes time for everyone. Some people it takes a little bit longer and that's okay, but if it's really important to you and you're motivated, like these tips will get you to be motivated. You can get there, I promise. Hashtag do it for your brain. Do it for your brain. 
it is so important even when i'm sad that is the number one time i don't want to go to the gym and i'm like but i'm too depressed to go to the gym like this morning i know it doesn't seem like it but i've been having a really hard time lately in life and struggling and one of the reasons why I'm in an okay mood right now, I'm able to make this video is because I went to the gym. It feels so good to accomplish something and accomplish your goals and release endorphins. It's, it's proved that working out helps your mental health. So it's really important. Do it for your brain. That's just something to get you out of the house. Even when you really don't want to, this is a time where you force yourself to and then you'll thank yourself later. Make it fun. Do exercise that makes you happy and switch it up. If you absolutely hate lifting weights, if you hate squatting, you've given it a fair shot and you actually just, it makes you so unhappy for some reason, don't. Find something that you love. Pick up a sport. Go for long walks. Do different types of exercise at the gym. Do a yoga class. Do um, body pump or Zumba. You know what I mean? You have to find exercise that makes you happy. I used to hate going to the gym when I was younger, so I played sports and I stayed fit. Obviously, if you want to work a certain part of your muscle groups, you kind of have to lift weights in that area. But do what makes you happy because obviously exercise sometimes, no matter what you're doing, isn't that fun. It's hard. It's hard work. But you should somewhat enjoy it after a while at least, like after you get into it. Give yourself time to get into it, but then you should at least enjoy it a little bit. So switch it up. Don't get crazy bored of the same things. Start doing, like I... I constantly try different machines at the gym and I think it's cool. It's working different muscle groups and it's fun because I get to switch it up. So it's like a win-win. Watch YouTube videos when you wake up. I often find my number one source of motivation is YouTube and Instagram fitness gurus. And it's this is a very fine line because my next tip kind of contradicts this one, but don't watch all the same type of people. Don't watch the the one girl who has your dream body. That's gonna be so hard to attain because everybody looks different no matter what. Remember that you're working to be the best version of yourself, not anyone else, not me, not some fitness guru, you. But I find when I'm looking at girls, especially for me, I find girls really inspire me. Them working out makes me want to work out, no matter what their body looks like, but them waking up, being healthy and happy, eating well, going to the gym, taking care of themselves, that honestly just motivates me. So don't only watch the girls with the very, very perfect, crazy bodies. Watch all types of people, but working out, I find watching other people work out makes me want to work out. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, okay, it's I'm starting off my day healthy, and with some motivation and before bed as well. I go to bed thinking like, oh, I can't wait to do this workout tomorrow. But yeah, one of my key motivators, I'm not even trying to like, <laughs> hey guys, watch my videos. But honestly, it helps listening to other people's stories, watching other people, gathering information and inspiration from other people is so important. I've learned 98% of all my fitness knowledge and how to get fit and where to even begin from YouTube. Just watching different tutorials, workouts, what I eat in a day. Is, I think they're so helpful. Try to start your day off healthy. I find having a healthy breakfast or if you're intermittent fasting, a healthy lunch, it helps you kind of get ready for the day. I find when I start off the day, oh my god, I just I'm, I need a really crazy unhealthy breakfast. Sometimes that's okay, but I try to not do that because it kind of doesn't give the right mood to the day. I find if I start off healthy, there's a better chance of me finishing off the day as healthy, if that makes sense. Try to feel empowered and strong. I know it's easier said than done, but be proud of yourself constantly for working out, making an effort to better yourself and your health and mental health. I think that's so cool. And I love this movement of girls becoming strong and gaining muscle. I think it's amazing. Just feel proud of yourself honestly I, that helps me a lot when I'm like damn I'm strong and I can lift weights I have muscle definition it makes me feel good and strong and not even how I look I just feel better I'm like damn I'm strong you know what I mean drinking game drink every time I say you know what I mean cuz next step is to eat enough please there's no way I could wake up in the morning and feel motivated if I'm constantly starving you're just not gonna be motivated if you're hungry Throw aside all the bullshit you've heard about calorie counting and not eating and no, you need to eat enough. Eat until you're full. For God's sakes, it's so unhealthy and unnatural to stop eating before you're full. What? Just please eat enough. That's the only way you're going to have energy for the gym is to eat enough or energy for your sport, whatever, your activities. Another way to stay motivated is 
<laughs> another way to stay motivated is just knowing that, hey, going to the gym, at the end of the day, it's burning calories, it's burning fat, it's building muscle, which means I can eat more and of what I want. That honestly helps me. Like, when I'm like, oh, I really want this cookie. I'm like, girl, I work out. I can have that fucking cookie. I'm just going to touch upon this one more time because I think it's so important. Please don't compare yourself. Holy shit. It honestly feels awesome that girls are like, oh my god, your body's awesome. I want to look like you. It feels awesome because I want to inspire you to work out, but it doesn't feel awesome that I'm like, I want to look like you. It's like, well, you're never going to look like uh, do you know what I'm saying? You have to be the best version of yourself. So I love to make these videos. I love to post photos showing off my hard work and progress just to inspire other girls to get strong as well. But to see people like get discouraged about other people's body, it's heartbreaking. Like you have to gather information from people and then work on yourself, not compare yourself. It's, it's important, ladies, please. My final tip for this video is to not be hard on yourself. If you hate working out and you're just watching this video for fun, girl, you do you, we all have our passions, but this was just specifically for motivation for working out. So honestly, don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself time, give yourself patience, be consistent, be healthy, but most importantly, be happy. Just always remember that you should be proud of yourself for being active regardless. So if you don't see your results that you wanna see immediately, don't beat yourself up, have fun with life. Don't stress out too much about it. And yeah, just be as healthy and happy as you can. I hope these tips were helpful. Please let me know if they were. Make sure to message me on Instagram or comment down below if you try out any of these tips or if they were helpful in any way. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, I haven't made one in a little while, but back into the grind. And I'll make sure to, um, I'll make sure to vlog a lot of my Greece trip. I'm really excited. I'll do like a packing video and everything. But yeah, um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe so you know when I put on a vi- no. <laughs> this is so hard. That's what she said. Click the little bell notification so that you get a notification when I put up a video. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video.